But I thought I'd bring in somebody that's an expert in relationships, and that's, I thought we'd bring in Kim Kardashian to talk to us about ECGs and Mozart's blocks. Now, I know some of the boys are very happy about this, but let me just tell you, have you heard about the fact that she's going out with a basketballer called, called Chris Humphreys? And she's a, she's a P-way. And Chris was an R-way. And let's talk about the relationship that occurred between <laughs> I can't do this, but Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys, okay? And this will teach you about Mobit's clocks, okay? Let's have a look. So, the interval between P and R is a fairly normal interval here. They're the right distance apart, they're not too lovey dovey, they're not too far apart. It's a constant, good relationship. And this is the relationship that tends to occur in a marriage you know, after a period of time in their situation, two or three days down the track. <laughs> and sometimes the interval between P and R gets a little bit closer, and so this is a very short PR interval. And a short PR interval can, in fact, be a pleasurable thing. It can get, lead to arrhythmias at some point, sometimes because it is a pleasurable thing. Then, you know, they can drift a little bit apart, you know, they're still together, they're holding hands, and they're, but they're a bit apart, so the PR interval is prolonged. Mm, you start seeing the PR interval being prolonged, this is where the new idea and all these other things start to come in, because they see there's a potential there for some sort of relationship disaster between P and R. R starts to be a little unhappy now. Because he's actually spent time with an ounce talk to her. Okay, so he's a little bit unhappy. And so R doesn't turn up regularly in his dates. So we'll have, you know, P's there, R come, P's oh, where's the R? R's not there, you know, so I'll just produce a new fragrance. Okay, so P's there, R's not there. Regularly missing his dates. So this is your classic moments too. <laughs> and it's a, what is it? It's a one to three to two block this one, okay? Now, as this relationship starts to suffer, the PR interval or the relationship between the P and R will start to grow apart further and further. And all of a sudden, R doesn't turn up at all. And this is your wake up back block, okay? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> now, and then you get to a point where their relationship totally drifts apart and it's usually an Oprah episode and there's no relationship in <coughs> dissociated. And this is your third degree block. And there is no more a relationship between P and R. But this isn't Melbourne, this is Hollywood. And Usually there's a new R that comes along very, very quickly. And sometimes you'll get a P on R. <laughs> I've got some R on P's I can show you later, but not right now. But I thought that that was a good thing to do, and I just want to thank you, Kim, and we'll let her get back to a quantum physics book and what she's doing. But I wanted to thank you for taking us through um, the moments blocks.